No one's ever done something like this. That is taking this new set of tools that are unquestionably having a dramatic effect on healthcare's future and to bring all the disciplines together, all the experts, and start to plan how to use these effectively and what can we do to really benefit patients with all these newfound capabilities. The fact that you can get a warning on your wrist through your watch that your heart rhythm isn't right, or you could get your potassium in your blood through your watch. These are some things that we wouldn't have anticipated. So the fact that you can get your genome sequence, that you can get your gut microbiome sequence, there's so many ways to understand each human being like never before. What it means is we can get remarkably more productive, that we don't do mass screenings, but we know who should be watched for whatever particular condition, that in the future we could prevent things like asthma attacks and seizures and heart attacks and strokes and far better management of things like diabetes uh, and high blood pressure. So there's all sorts of opportunities of improving our workflow and patient management. Reading scans, slides, looking at skin lesions. These are all patterns that are better for machines to process at high throughput accurately and then have human clinical oversight. And that's where this is landing. This is a combination of doing the things best that machines do, but also that uh, clinicians can do. There isn't any question that over time, and we're talking not just immediately, but in the five to 10 year time frame, we're gonna see some immense productivity improvement. So for example, somebody was uh, instead of going into uh, a regular hospital room, they could go home and be on sensors and be continuously monitored with artificial intelligent algorithms. That's just one example of how we're gonna see changes. And when that happens, think of all the different people that are affected. For example, we're gonna need more data scientists, of which there are relatively few, and we'll have the types of specialties which are gonna be very much supported through machine learning and AI, we may have less. And, and if we ever get the remote monitoring together, we may have less hospital personnel. So we're gonna see dynamic changes across the board uh, over the years ahead. But there will be new areas that will grow, just as there are areas that will see uh, some reductions. So this is something that's bigger than the NHS. It really will be transformative that eventually, just a matter of time, that the patient will be truly the center. And clinicians will be rescued from the despair of not being able to care for patients well because they're so burdened with so much uh, keyboards and administrative and all these other things that divert them from what they really want to do, why they went into healthcare and medicine in the first place. And then we obviously want to see the productivity in these health systems. So each of these areas will eventually be revolutionized over time. Maybe it'll take 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And we'll look back now in 2018 as this thing rolled out is that we were able to really nail it of what is the biggest advantage of bringing all these tools together.